Always something going on in the royal household, and this week has been no different. And each Saturday, I like to give you a rundown. And who better to do so than royal biographer Angela Levin? Angela, hello. Good to see you. Right, so we've got a lot going on. Yes. Where should we start? On. Well, the st you have to start with King Charles. Mm. He was allowed to come out and be with people, which is what he really wants to be. And I thought there was a big change in him because he was so accessible, so easily accessible. And when he went to um, the uh, centre, the cancer centre, he, he was absolutely involved with the people. He was talking to them. And you could see that it wasn't just, you know, have you been here long and all that. It was really deep. And when he went, he always held their hand for about 20 seconds and you think, you know, this is an amazing monarch, actually, who doesn't mind saying what is happening to him and who is actually really caring. And what was lovely with the protocol was that there were two children who were suffering from cancer who gave each of them, him and the Queen, a, a posy. Aww. And he gave them a bag full of presents for Aww, them. That's and so I thought sweet. that's a, a complete break of of normal behaviour. The Queen would never have done that. But you see, he now wants to be one of the country and to do what he can for everyone. And I thought it, it was absolutely marvellous because he also told them he had to rush because he had to go for his treatment. So you could picture what he's going through mm. and he could picture what they were going through and it worked very well. Yeah, it's lovely to see him out and about, isn't it? But he's so brave he and so very nice. strong. And I think people really respect that he really... We now understand what this duty is about when you see people like Meghan who should have been able to handle it and should have got in there yes. and she didn't manage it. But, of course, uh, Harry is coming yes, Harry next is week. Coming. Yes, he's coming Tuesday. Um, and um, this is for uh, Invictus Games, uh, 10 years since it's been going, which is a marvellous event. And it's going to be celebration at the St Paul's Cathedral, or prayers for them. Um, the, quest the big question is, will he see his father? Um, I personally don't think so, because um, there's a big party in the gardens, which finishes as the Invictus Games finish at six o'clock and if he's had to shake hands and say hello to a hundred I think there's 300 mm -hmm. people coming if he's going to have to do that I think he would be very tired mm -hmm. and if he did see Harry it would be a very quiet a very quick and I think that um, the Queen would make sure that she was there to make sure that Harry didn't upset him in any way mm -hmm. and in any case Harry with Meghan is going off to Nigeria um, Nigeria the following day. So I think this rushing to see people and uh, when you haven't had a decent discussion for a long time is not actually ideal. If he's coming, he should come to day, two days, three days, and then you've got time to get through things. Mm. Yeah, uh, I just see this whole thing as uh, quite shambolic, the relationship between the two of them, but it is crafted mainly because of the behaviour of Meghan and Harry. It's sad. Um, do you think that there's a chance that they may reconcile in some way in this little meeting? And, mm. and what about Harry and his Invictus? It sounds like they, they... You mentioned it last week, and it does sound like they don't want him heading it. Well, um, I'm not too sure now. I think oh, people really? have taken a step back. OK. Because there are some that still want him. And um, I think that will be... This year will be the one that actually shows whether it's going to carry on with him or not. And um, it'll be in Canada. And the one they're trying to get in, in the UK is um, 27. And it's now gone between America and um, Birmingham, I think, whether it's going to be held there. Oh, wow. But what's, um, what's lovely, we must talk about Charlotte. Mm, little Because Charlotte. it's her birthday. But she's really cool as a young girl. You know, she had one arm on the tree and then she had a, a mini skirt on, which is so sweet when they're that age. And she's really smiling. She's brilliant. You know, she knows how to pose. She knows what she's doing. She's grinning at her mother. Luckily, Catherine took her photograph. And she's just divine, isn't she? She's very efficient. She bosses her brother, telling him, the older one, George, to tell him that when someone goes by, he has to bow. You know, she nudges him, tells him. She's completely in control. 
and she's just um, a delight of a girl, very clever, very sporty, and um, you know she's going to be a huge hit for the rest of her life. Mm, very sensible, sensible young lady. She's learnt off her mother, Catherine, who is uh, yes. uh, incredible. How, do we have any updates on Catherine? No, What's there's no at? updates. I mean, she has... I think it's quite a surprise for us that she's done the photographs mm -hmm. of, of her and um, Louis um, a few weeks before, but she's actually keeping right away. And um, I, I worry for her. I think it was such a shock. I mean, King Charles said to one of the women he was talking to at the centre, you know, it's a terrible shock mm -hmm. when you hear it, isn't it? Yeah. And I think that it's a terrible shock for somebody as young as her, 42. And um, I think it's very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And she wants peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to see. But one more thing about um, King Charles was when he went out just before uh, he was allowed out into the public, um, there was a photograph taken to celebrate his and the Queen's um, birth, um, anniversary, 19th anniversary. And instead of usually the, the uh, main person stares ahead and the other one, whether it's man or woman, is not there, but this way he was looking longingly at Camilla and she was looking ahead with a wonderful beam. And they were in a garden with lots of flowers. And I think that was really very hopeful yeah. and lovely. It is nice so, to see. That's um, true love, isn't it, the two it of them? Is, it is <clears> nice <throat> to see true love. They absolutely yes. adore each other, don't yes. they? But who would want to stand in between that? Angela Levin. Such a pleasure to talk to you. Lovely to see you. Nice the to see brilliant you. Angela Levin, royal biographer.